Hello everyone. In the previous video, we successfully added this template into our project and this is working in our project, but this dark mode is not working in our project. So we will fix this issue in the later video. So let's uh, now the time is to add this into our admin dashboard. So we added this in our localhost 8000. So it means that we added this in our base URL, right? So in the welcome blade. So we are not going to add this into the welcome blade. So we are going to add this into the home blade. So we are going to protect our administrator dashboard to uh, access the unauthorized user, right? So here we are going to uh, go to this uh, welcome blade. So we are going to open the welcome blade on this localhost 8000 and then we are going to log in our user and then we are going to open the dashboard for the user so let's go here and first our uh, connect our app with the database so i am using php my admin so it's uh, my sql database so most of the cases most of the projects use this mysql so that's why i'm preferring this mysql so you can also use this mysql or whatever you you want so let's go here and let me find the real estate so i created this database real estate so i just simply just click on this and type here real estate and then i click on this create so it's uh, created this real estate database so i did not create any table so let's uh, go here and now i'm going to connect this with this project so let's go to the env file and here we need to configure our database so we are using mysql then the port is also good this one uh, also this one host is also good so here we need to type our database name so what is our database name it's a real estate right so our username and password is also correct so save this one and uh, let's uh, we need to first migrate it. So let me open the terminal and here we need to run the PHP artisan migrate. So we are going to migrate our uh, default migration which comes by default with the Laravel. So it's a user password and stuff like that. So let's click on this PHP artisan migrate and uh, hit enter. So it's going to yes it's uh, migrated all the migration so let's exit this uh, from terminal and now let's go here and register new user so we are going to register a new user and then we are going to log in this user right so here i'm going to use my this email and 128 password and let's click on this register so it's going to register and log in this user and yes it successfully registered this user and we are now on the dashboard so here we don't want this UI. So we want to open the admin dashboard, right? So how we can do this? So let me check the video size and yes, it's not going bigger. So let's go here. And here this one, this home controller is responsible for this index method and this index is opening this home blade, right? So here we don't want to open this home blade. So we want to open our custom blade right so let's go here and we are going to add let me click on this and here i'm going to add a dashboard dot blade dot php file right and here i'm going to extend our main layout so i'm adding this so uh, extend and then i'm going to type the layouts layouts dot auth so i'm using the i'm using this blade so I'm using, uh, I'm rendering this blade here. So I don't want to copy paste all of the time. So that's why I'm reusing this blade. So it's a good way to reuse your code, not to copy and uh, copy again and again. So here we need to open this one. So we are going to, to go to the home controller and here we are going to open the this dashboard. So auth.dashboard, it's located in the auth. So that's why we need to specify auth.dashboard. So let's go here and give it a refresh. So it's going to dashboard for us. And yes, our dashboard is open now and it's still uh, having the same issue. So let me get rid of this. Uh, let me close this out. So then it's going to open it for us. So let's click on this uh, 8000 and let's click on this home. So it's going to open this uh, dashboard 
and uh, yes now it's working so it's mean that uh, our dashboard is loaded and whenever our user is logged in so this dashboard will be appeared so we can also log out this user so how we can do this so let's shoot this in the next video so i will meet you in the next one bye bye